Today with us we have Colin Wright who makes a living out of writing and he just started dabbling into a new kind of genre, science fiction. Well, dabbling, um, Colin, you've uh, been quite successful over the past few years, right, with science fiction? I've been very fortunate, actually. I've, I've been fortunate in that I used to write a lot of other genres, and then when I started delving into fiction, but science fiction in particular, my audience was willing to go there with me. They're, they're just as geeky as I am, really. So you switched from uh, uh, biograph biographies to science fiction. Um, is there a new kind of special rules when, with science fiction writing? It's really different, yeah. It, you know, telling a story of something that you lived is really easy in a way. You just have to relate it in kind of an entertaining way and maybe come to some conclusions. Writing science fiction, you have to tell an interesting story that draws people in and develop some nice characters, but you also speculate quite a bit. You, you have to create something that not only didn't happen, but maybe isn't possible and make it believable and, and hopefully inspire people, make them think about what might be possible. Yeah, so um, what would you say as a tip for a starting writer who wants to write science fiction? I'd say you really have to be interested in it. It's, it's not something you just say, hey, maybe I'll write science fiction. You really have to geek out about technology and science and, and potential, uh, where things might be going, because you have to be willing to extrapolate and say, here's where things are today. I wonder what would happen 100 years from now, or I wonder what would happen if aliens invaded, or I wonder what would happen if robotics develops to a certain level. You have to really be passionate about taking things a step further and then explaining what the world would look like in that context. Yeah, so you first start with a question for yourself and then you try to explain it for yourself in a story. Yeah, ideally. And you have to do it in a way that's compelling to other people who wouldn't necessarily find that interesting at the beginning. If you can have that common touch and like bridge the gap between really geeky people and just the everyday person who might never think about it, then you've got a winning formula. Thanks for sharing with us today again, uh, Colin. And if you at home are interested in his books, make sure to check out the article below.